so today I was uh, kind of thinking, uh, it's kind of a beautiful day to be outside in the middle of January, the sun is out, the snow is kind of getting out of the place, it's kind of melting away, but uh, the Lord has been speaking to my heart on, on certain subjects, um, one is the power of prayer, um, how prayer has been very instrumental in what we do. I've heard a minister one time said that we are the product of our prayers or people's prayers for us. We are the product of what basically some people somewhere have prayed for us. And it was really powerful when I was thinking about it because sometimes there are people who pray for you, your parents, your grandparents, before you were even born that have really impacted the way you are today. There are even prayers of people today who are that you will never meet in your life, but that get on their knees and that intercede for your case. That intercede for Christians, for, for the body of Christ as a whole, which we belong into. And it's really changed the way I pray. It's really changed my, my, my prayer status, my way when I get on my knees to not just pray by myself, but to pray for also others who have the same desire to see God, who are in the same lifestyle to serve God and, well, basically have dedicated their lives to. So I get on their, my knees for them. I also pray for them. So that's something I also want to encourage you know everybody to, if you spend close to 80% of your time of prayer praying about your problem, your situation, you got to change. If you spend so much time, you know, praying about what concerns you or things that affect you, you got to change. You know, there are so many out there. And you will see, you'll also see something that I've noticed personally is that the more I spend time praying for others, the longer my prayer time is for some reason. You know what I mean? Because I feel like sometimes we run out, out of things to say. You pray about ourselves. Or you pray about your problem. You want God to bless you. And, oh, yeah, God. Yeah. Okay. So now we start to run out of things to say. But whenever you see that your heart has a burden for other people, the Lord will also bless you in those ways because He knows that through you, you'll be able to impact those people for which your heart longs for. You know what I mean? So that's why I want to encourage everybody to, in this subject of how we should pray, to not only just pray for ourselves, but also love on others, intercede. We are also called to be intercess intercessors of the faith. To get on our knees and put forth this cause of Christ in our lives. So, yours truly as always. God bless you. And uh, we'll see you next week. See you.